Now for the next episode of the Jupiter 2 Media Room and Home Theater. I know you guys are waiting for the radars, and we're still working on the one radar. Uh, we should have that in within a month. Sorry it's taking so long. Just uh, I've been ill for some time now, for a couple of weeks, and uh, it just puts a hold on everything when you don't feel well. And the weather hasn't been the greatest. But I wanted to show you something. Um, the gentleman who did the rack and the guns for me, Jim Kirk, uh, he also did something really cool and special for me, and I thought it would be fun. And I've never seen this in any other person's uh, Jupiter 2 room, and I wanted to have things in here a little bit different. I don't want to um, be copying somebody else's work, of course. Um, there's nothing wrong with being inspired by it, but you don't want to copy it. So without further ado, ta-da! Now, this is a um, the, uh, the tronium um, that they used for the ship. Uh, this is the uh, fuel, and he made me this little rack um, with the, uh, the canisters, and if you look right here, it's really sweet. He's got this all done, and then he's got each individual little canister, and these are actually as close as he could find to uh, the bottles that they use, and if I know him, they're pretty darn accurate. And then he's got this little caution radioactive material um, precaution on the side, and then on the other side of this, he actually filled out like if somebody was to come in here and inspect this. It's pretty funny. Um, and then on top, there's a radiation safety equipment kit. And inside of this kit is um, your glasses, your safety glasses, and uh, your gloves, and anything else that you would need for handling um, radiation. Um, and then on my ship, of course, you know, one question people are going to have is, well, if this is radioactive, what's it doing outside the main thing? Well, on my ship, of course, this whole area here then would have a force field around it to protect it. Um, and uh, I might end up doing some type of lighting or something. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but I wanted to show that to you guys. I thought it was really, really cool. We just got it in the mail. And uh, Jim's a really talented guy. If you guys want any Lost in Space stuff done... Uh, like little accessories and such, like this and the rifles and stuff, let me know. I'll ask Jim if he's interested, and uh, he certainly can help you out. So, stay tuned for the next episode of the Jupiter 2 um, Home Theater Media Room, and by then we should be able to have the, uh, the radars in. All right, ta-ta for now.